When Karl Lagerfeld unveils a new collection, it's always a big event. And the designer himself is always the star of his own show, even during rehearsals. The models don't mind if he steals their thunder. He's the number one, so admirable, a great person, a fantastic designer, and the embodiment of fashion. In the front row, the world's top fashion journalists, Anna Winter from US Vogue, Susie Menkes from the International Herald Tribune, and Karine Reutfeld from French Vogue, all on the lookout for the most exciting trends. This season, Karl Lagerfeld opted for a layered look. High-collared tailored jackets over short skirts and leggings. A classic look, but this time given a unique edge. This is a new material. It's a very light patent leather and they're actually trousers, not leggings. You can wear a skirt over them and they don't squeak like vinyl or latex, which makes you hot and sweaty. This is like silk on the skin, otherwise I would never have used it. The final decision has already been made about next season's colors. Ivory, black, chocolate brown, they're the dominant colors. I was more interested in contrast than colors, matte and shiny. He also played with the contrast of fabrics, such as gauze and leather. And the same dynamic was on display at Dior, where John Galliano was in a romantic mood. But leather details stopped his floaty pastel frocks from being too demure. Among the audience at his show was Charlize Theron. As an Oscar-winning actress, fashion plays a big role in her life. I have to get dressed and wear something when I leave my house, so the older I have gotten, the more I've learned to appreciate fashion. British designer John Galliani was actually presenting two collections in Paris. Two days after the Dior event, he unveiled a completely different look at the show for his own label, which was attended by US actress Lindsay Lohan and pop star Beth Ditto, frontwoman of Gossip. Women who like John Galliano tend to be experimental and quirky, all chiffon gowns and voluminous brocade, sheepskin, embossed leather mountain coats and yak fur trimming, even the evening wear. I think she's going to in particular love the new innovation on the bias cutting this season, which was inserting vison uh, into the evening wear dresses, which was, I thought was quite a technical feat um, and very beautiful. I think the trends that are emerging in terms of fabric is this notion about patchwork. So in one jacket or coat, you don't just have one fabric. You maybe have three or four, so there could be a combination of maybe two different types of fur, a tweed, a wool, and leather. Vivian Westwood also likes to mix and match fabrics. Her models looked like they'd stepped off the pages of a grim fairy tale, showing off a collection the designer said was loosely inspired by Prince Charming. Fashion is so stressful, you have to be very fast. And the first thing we did, it looked like something from a pantomime, the prince in a pantomime. And so I just worked on fairy tale, just, just to be quick by accident. I, be I began to like it a lot. The best looks always happen by accident. So the lesson is, if you feel like a princess, you'll always look good.